Hey, this is Ryan Phillips here, and this is my round three game against Solomon uh, Baleen. Um, I had the black pieces, and I uh, really couldn't ask for anything better at the opening. Um, so uh, this was a missed opportunity. So I've kind of discovered over the years, and uh, this probably, I don't know, this might be helpful to someone. To other people, this might not be uh, such big news. But um, in this game of chess, there's, you know, sometimes you're kind of lucky. to you, you have to salvage the half points or gain the half points when it's there. So, for example, if you're on the tougher end of the position, you have to draw it so you don't get zero points. You have to get salvage a half point. And then if you're on the better side of the position, you have to convert that to a full point and not sell for half point. And I mean, that's common sense and that might be like obvious statement, but that's really the difference between winning these tournaments and, and coming in like 10th place or even, uh, or you know, or having just a terrible tournament. So just being able to maximize your results is, is huge. And I think that's why end game play and late middle game play uh, is key. Uh, I think my end game play has been substantially better. I think, I don't know, just through the years I've gotten better at it. Um, but my late middle game play where I'm not exact, you know, it might be like a new, newer position. I'm not 100% sure what to do. Um, you know, I think I have a talent for chess, so I'm not sure. I don't think it should be a problem for me to figure out better ideas and plans to, like, kind of convert my advantages. Um, and, of course, you know, I shouldn't uh, dismiss my opponents. You know, they put up good resistance, and, and uh, these tournament level, you know, these tournament chess players, they, they, they fight hard. Um, but, yeah, I think I should be converting this. Like, this is a game I should have converted, and I actually went from um, having a, a fantastic position to probably, I probably should have lost this game at, at some point. Um, but I found a nice kind of drawing resource after my opponent made a pretty significant mistake, I thought. Anyway, though, I couldn't have asked for more for the opening, so I went on e4, c5, so computer guessed my move. Um, knight f3, d6, so, yeah, basically this tournament also cillions. And then bishop b2 again, so I was like, okay, uh, at least he wasn't familiar with my first round game. Or maybe he was and thought he could find an improvement or something, but, I mean, after bishop b2, I was like, okay, I, I at least know what to do. I uh, had seen this already. Uh, so I played e5, so everything went uh, according to plan. And then um, here he uh, deviated with a better move, bishop e3. So I think this is a far superior move to bishop g5. I think the bishops on e2 and e3 um, kind of complement each other well. They can go to either side of the board. And, um, you know, it's tough for it's tough for black to, you know, exploit anything. They haven't made any mistakes white. So these are all natural developing moves. Um, so I played knight b d7 again. And now my opponent played f3. So already we see a, you know, it's similar opening, of course, but very different plans. So in this position, the um, e4 pawn will not be weak. The f3 pawn is defending it well. Um, f3 controls the g4 square, so this bishop can... There's really nowhere for the bishop to go yet, but maybe the bishop doesn't have to worry about eyeing the g4 square. Um, and the bishop has a retreat, so... So f3, you're already seeing a different course of the game. Um, so after... Uh, F3, I played B5, which maybe is, could be considered a mistake already. Um, my idea is basically just to play Knight B6, and then ideas of Knight C4, or even ideas of D5. So, I don't know, I think B5 is a fine, fine move in this position. Um, castle. Knight B6. So I'm kind of, you know, you can see I'm also kind of stealing the idea of not developing my bishop, so I'm trying to save that tempo. Um, you know, I don't really see how white can uh, manage any attacks on my king anytime soon. Uh, so when I see, when I start feeling the presence of some slight king danger, probably bishop e7 now castle right away. Uh, but here I, I don't feel any pressure. Um, so my opponent played a very terrible move here. And um, this move should probably lose the game in, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's that bad of a move in the opening. It's hard to think he can make that bad of a move, but he played knight d2. And uh, knight d2 just basically gives me d5. And um, computer evaluation is showing it as not too bad of a move, uh, just a small advantage, but I really think that this move, I, I think that white should be, able, or black should be able to um, come pretty close to, to, to they have, they've at least equalized at the very least, and I, I think they have a good chance to to play for a win from here on out. Um, the only idea behind knight d2 is uh, the knight on b3 is not a very active piece, so I don't know if he's trying to swing it to f1 and g3 at some point by moving the rook, um, or or the only real idea I can think of is if I'm playing d5, which he, which he thought I would play, now the uh, e4 square is available for the knight. So that's basically the only thing I could think of. Um, but d5 just like bakes me play, I think. And then here I had a tough decision. I couldn't figure out which knight to take with. And um, I'm always happy when it's like a very tough decision in my head. And the computer evaluation is showing it is a very tough decision because it's, it's dead even. Um, I actually was, exp I thought knight f takes d5. And I thought maybe bishop f2 and he would let me double up his pawns I considered. Um, which strategically looks like suicide. But 
it was something I thought might happen, and I was worried that knight f takes d5, I'm removing a defender of my king side. So I was already thinking along those terms. Um, but I didn't see how white could launch any kind of kingside attack. Um, I know generally um, white could castle kingside, or queenside, my apologies, and, and launch a pawn storm. Um, but it looks like here a pawn storm wouldn't be too effective. Um, so I figured that I didn't really need the knight on f uh, as a defender of the kingside, so I took with the knight. And then he took immediately, so now I realize it was uh, no difference. Uh, it ended up being not any uh, difference at all. And then he played bishop f2 pretty quickly. And then I found this nice move, I thought, knight f4. And um, here my opponent has all kinds of difficulties, so I think uh, I think I should be able to convert this game, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately I, I screwed up somewhere. So now he played, which probably definitely should have been the losing move, rook e1, which I can't really figure out the point. I think he was trying to play bishop f1 to defend the g2 square, but the problem is after I play queen g5, which is the best move, um, bishop f1 would be a terrible blunder on account of my h3 check, uh, winning the queen. Knight takes f2 check, and then I even have computers even saying bishop c5 is even better, but uh, I probably would just have taken the queen. And uh, yeah, it's obviously of course winning. So after queen g5, he played uh, what I thought was forced. Um, even the computer showing g3 is playable. Which I was surprised because I was just intending to play knight h3. And, um, I don't know. I figured this would have to be good for for black, but apparently not. I guess, uh, I guess this is okay for for white. So I guess uh, computer showing queen h6. With the idea of, um, Take on h2, and then it looks like also um, infiltrating like h6 or something. It looks like that would just pick up, pick up the exchange, and uh, black and castle, and should be no problem. I guess you have to worry about the bishop being trapped with g4, but as long as the knight's on f1, you can always just take and um, simplify the position. So anyway, so I thought g3 wasn't playable, but computer's showing it is. So here. And then rook d8. So now my idea is just to play, um, say, a eighth, you know, waste of move. My idea is just to play uh, rook takes d2. Winning the queen. So that's that's my threat right there. Um, so he didn't play a3 though, of course. He played um, bishop takes, which I just thought was a losing move. I um, I totally overlooked bishop to d3, uh, which I don't know why. Um, I was like, well, how is he going to save the piece? I, I don't know why I missed bishop d3 in this game. Um, but still, I think my position is, is winning. So yeah, so this is the position. This is what I'm talking about. Like these are the positions you need to convert if you want to win one of these tournaments. So um, hopefully I'll learn from this, and maybe uh, next year or something uh, I won't make these mistakes. Um, but yeah, I should have. I should have been able to um, win this position. Uh, so I played uh, bishop b4, which is a nice move. I um, the idea c3 is a mistake because um, bishop to c5 check or uh, rook takes d3, uh, winning a piece. So bishop b4 is very strong, and then it basically forces um, rook e2. And then here I. Uh, here I should have got more materialistic. I actually thought, uh, you know, just build up my attack, but um, I was afraid to. I was afraid to get too materialistic here for some reason. Um, I thought after this that my pieces weren't. You know, they weren't like fantastically coordinated. I didn't think, um, so I was a little worried about say something like this. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'm good here, but. You know, I didn't feel. Uh, I thought I didn't think I needed to go into any kind of complications, which I guess I was wrong about. So I guess I need to do, you know, I guess this is where the iron's hot, so I need to strike right now. So I castled, which is a which is a slight mistake. I was also looking at bishop c4. I was hoping that this would work, um, but I didn't. I don't think this would this worked because of this move. Um, and then that 
that it just loses a pawn. So I was hoping that these ideas would work, but unfortunately they didn't. So just castle. And then he played king h1, so I don't know, I'm pretty I'm pretty sh uh, shocked and surprised my opponent has time to get away with these like passive moves while I'm like developing, putting my rooks on nice, uh, my rooks on an open uh, file. Um, his pieces are like really cluttered, so I don't know, I'm pretty disappointed I couldn't, I couldn't convert this. Um, I looked at, this is the position where I kind of got stuck. So this is also another area of my game that I need to improve. When my pieces are on good squares, um, I've done like, you know, my development's been good. I wasn't really sure how to cash in, so I thought and thought and considered f5, but I couldn't really see how to make that work. Um, so I, I ended up not playing that. I couldn't even really like, I couldn't see the full merits of this move either f5 to be honest. So I thought and thought and I said, well, I should probably double my rooks on the d file. Um, but unfortunately, this plan was a little slow. <coughs> so it allows some counterattacking for my opponent. So uh, my opponent played a3, bishop a5, and I think yeah, my advantage is oh, a little bit, but I think it's most of it's uh, dissipated already. So b4, bishop b6. And then he played uh, rook e4, if I remember correctly. Yes, and then here I had a tough decision. Um, queen f6 looks playable. Queen g5. Uh, I think my move was probably. I thought it was okay, but maybe not that great. Uh, my queen ended up kind of getting off sides the rest of the game. So I think queen f6, just to keep my queen more active, was probably a, a better, the best move. The reason why I kind of rejected queen f6, I thought after the rook move, knight e4 might be strong. Um, but of course, that takes two moves, and I have a move in the meantime. So maybe I was just too too careful, but. I want queen h6, which the computer is now showing me likes best. But my queen kind of fell out of play the rest of the game. I was trying to launch some attacks on the, along the h pile because this bishop on uh, b6 is a menace. The king can't go to g1, so basically the king's in Zugzwang. The king can't move anywhere. So I just have to figure out some kind of way to check the king, but unfortunately I couldn't think of anything. I, or I couldn't figure out a way. So my opponent played queen e1. Just um, attacking. And again, um, the uh, I should say the rook can't take e5. So, on account of uh, bishop c7 is the quickest, but I, I bishop d4 also should win, but bishop c7, and I have mating threats, so say like f4. And after the queen moves, or after the rook moves, I have mating, uh, a, mate, a mate there, and if it doesn't move, just bishop takes e5. And then of g3, just, um, yeah, it's simple and good. Uh, so queen e1, rook to d4, um, rook d1 here, and I think this is, well, rook fd I played, I guess the computer showing okay, but I feel like I'm, my advantage is starting to slip here somewhere, I'm not exactly sure what, where, and then uh, here again, um, I think rook takes e5 is bad, just rook h4. And then um, this is not good for for uh, white. So this uh, e5 pawn is again a poison, uh, poison pawn. So rook takes d4. No, I'm sorry. Um, knight f1 first. My apologies. So this is not a very good move, knight f1. Or I, it's okay. I mean, it guards the h2 square. Um, e3 squared covers. It's okay, but I thought maybe it was a little, a little slow. Um, so here I think I had another position I didn't know what to do, so I thought the pawn could be uh, taken now, so I decided to protect it. Um, but I guess computer is showing that bishop c7 is a better move. I don't know. I, I ended up playing f6, which maybe this is a, not such a great move. Uh, but computer showing, which, yeah, still okay. Um, so rook takes d4, rook takes d4, and then my opponent played um, c3. And then, yeah, but now I don't actually have an advantage, so I'm not sure what happened exactly. But here I, 
here I s kind of panicked. I didn't. I don't know. I should contest the D file. I think this is pretty obvious. But um, I decided that I'm going to keep trying to attack. So I didn't adjust to the fact that my position doesn't call for this anymore. And um, I didn't see anything. So basically, I'm just like hoping that my opponent's going to screw up and this H file attack is going to work. But there's really nothing. There's nothing here at all. So this is this is a pretty big blunder. And when I played it, I knew I I didn't see anything. But I was like, well, maybe something will develop. But I didn't have any like specific idea of what would develop. Um, so this is just not not good. Um, so my opponent played bishop e4. Played bishop c4. And then he played bishop d5 check. And then I considered king f8, but I went with bishop to takes d5. And uh, yeah, here I'm in trouble. So I went from totally winning to um, being in danger of losing. So to, I, I was lucky to hold this. Queen f4. <coughs> and then I missed. Um, I thought rook to d6 was... Was um, I thought I could I thought I was okay on account of um, I thought I had this variation, but I missed this, and now my uh, rook on h4 is unprotected. And uh, yeah, this is just one for uh, one for white. So luckily, my opponent missed this too. I mean, I thought uh, rook d6 was a natural move, but I thought um, I thought I could I was okay with bishop c7, but that's inaccurate. Luckily for me, he didn't play rook d6, though, so he kind of gave me uh, some life. He played queen d1, which um, I didn't particularly care for this move. So now I played queen c4. And then my opponent made a significant mistake here, but um, it was hard to see why with g3. And then um, g3 allowed me to take control of the game back, and I should have been able to win. Or, I don't know, I keep... I should... I think this is how my emotions are during the game. I'm, you know, all over the place. But, um, I don't know. 0.61. I think it's pretty close to winning position for Black, but I'm not. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure if White can hold this still at best play. So I found this move uh, prior to even him even playing G3. I was like, I hope he plays. I, I had this idea of Rook D4 in my head, so I was really happy when he played G3. And the idea is, if the pawn takes, then uh, Queen takes here is good, and I'm going to win the uh, this pawn uh, due to the pin on the D file. Um, and then queen can't take, obviously. I'll just take with the pawn. So he played rook takes, which is, I think is the best move. Um, he takes. Um, and then c takes d4, which he didn't play. Um, I think I have good chances. But this is kind of similar to what happened in the game. But he ended up playing um, queen e1. Threatening uh, king eight, uh, queen e8 mate. And then just another, you know, I kind of panicked here, I think. I was like, oh, man, he's putting me in a mate threat, blah, blah, blah. I have to worry about this. Um, but I, have to, I mean, I have to answer the threat, of course. But I played a real passive move with king f7. It looks like computer showing queen c6, combining offense and defense. So I'm threatening queen takes f3 check. I'm threat covering the e8 square, and I'm w threatening to win the uh, c3 pawn. It's just too many threats for my opponent to parry. So... I should have found. I should find this move. This is disappointing that I missed this. So, and I, I, I was in some time trouble. Both of us were in some time trouble at this point. So maybe that's an excuse. But this, this was a complicated game. So again, time pressure in this game. I'm not too hard on myself. The other games, I wasn't even anywhere near time pressure. Um, so yeah, I just tried to, uh, I tried to make a reasonable move here. So um, looks like Queen uh, C6 would have won on the spot. So King F7. Um, and then um, she takes d4, queen takes d4, knight d2, and then I just wanted to trade off into an endgame because I believe the endgame should have been winning for me, um, but he didn't take, he played um, queen c1, so he's guarding the a3 pawn. Uh, and then I played queen f2, so it looks like queen e2. So these, yeah, I don't know what was going on in this position. I was, I couldn't find a win to save my life here. Um, but it looks like queen e2 would have won, but I played queen. Yeah, queen e2 looks just like a much better move. Played queen f2, king d1. And then again, this is kind of time pressure, so we're just kind of moving pretty quick. And I played, yeah, how many times we repeat this? Uh, queen c1, queen f2. Q 
queen d4, queen c1. Now I tried uh, queen e3 here. So I was trying to press my advantage. King g2. Um, yeah, this is just a bad move, but I, I, I can't. I, I don't know what my problem was. So I played g6, which my idea is just to move the king from g7 to h6 and try to avoid checks. But I mean, this is a good player. I mean, I shouldn't. This queen checks. This, there's nothing. So I shouldn't be so paranoid over just a check. You know, there's nothing. There's nothing to it. You know, I can get out of the checks, and then nothing will happen uh, that will cause me any harm in the game. So yeah, I played too uh, too passively. So I played queen b2, which I think was a mistake again, and then. Here I played queen e2 check, and he played king h3, and here I missed the crushing move. Bishop g1 just totally wins. Um, I think, again, I'm just so worried about any check, which I have no idea why. Um, after a check here, I just move my king to g7, and he's out of check. So um, this is an easy move to find, um, and uh, bishop g1 is just uh, just crushing. So I missed I missed this move, which... I don't know. I don't know what what my problem was. Why why I missed this? So, um, but I played queen e6 check, which is a pretty bad move. He played g4. Uh, I went with h5, queen b3, uh, and I played this move, bishop d4, which I thought was a better move than it was, but it wasn't anything too great. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I played uh, takes first. Sorry about that. Now I played bishop d4. He played king g3, bishop e5 check, king g2. I took, take, bishop here. So yeah, I think I pretty much uh, blew this game. And I played here and offered a draw and he took. My um, idea is knight c7 check, king e5, knight takes b5, bishop takes b4 is totally drawn. Um, so yeah, this was a disappointing game. I squandered my advantage. So rounds three and four were really the turning points of the tournament for me. I had uh, winning positions in both games, and I couldn't convert. Um, this game, I even took a winning position to a losing position, so I was outplayed in the late middle game, um, which seems to be uh, happening a lot in my games. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting like too excited. I'm like, oh, I'm winning, I'm winning, and then I don't convert my advantage, or, or maybe I'm just getting outplayed and I need to improve. Um, but something's going on. I need to be able to convert these positions more consistently. And... Um, um, I've been bowling a lot, so I'm trying to think of it like in terms of bowling. Like these are like my spares. Like this is spares are the key to bowling. Like this is the key to chess. Like this this part of the game is the spare part of the game. Until I convert my spares, you know, I don't want to say these are like one pin spares I have to pick up. Maybe like a you know two or three pin spare. Until I'm making my two or three pin spares when they're like right next to each other, like 80, 80, 85 percent of the time, I'm not gonna you know get to the level I need to be at. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, post my fourth round soon and um, yeah I think I played played well for the most part um, I, Rook H4 was a significant blunder um, that was the only point I think I went from any from equality to a, a chance of losing um, so I made one bad move which uh, that, that happens I mean that's a significantly bad move I, I hope my mistakes are, are less severe than that in the future um, but you know I think I played a good game my opening was great he made a mistake with 19 2 of course and I, I should have capitalized that to a win um, in that end game, I think Carlson Carlson would have ground, would have won that for sure. Um, so I just need to keep it, keep improving on my chess. Uh, anyway, though, um, it's Ryan Phillips signing out. Thanks for watching.